Guys, this is a rather interesting uh, computer that just came in here. Master on wheels. Yeah, um, Albano actually just brought it in. He actually wanted me to look at it. It's rather interesting. As you can see, I have a we have a USB keyboard plugged into it, which is actually over here. So I'm gonna open it. It's actually it's a Dell Inspiron. Inspiron, rather. Good lord, I can't speak. <laughs> um, M5030, so I'd say it's about 2009. It is 2009. Yeah, 2009. So I'm going to turn it on. However, however, I'm not going to turn it on for very long, and you'll see why. So, if it decides to do that again. Great, see? That's why. I'm not turning it on, because it's just going to keep doing that. Did you try to skip that in any way? Or did skip you try what? To, to stop it from beeping? Like, did you press any key or anything? You can't. It just beeps. Like, like it beeps. It's a constant beep code, guys. It's a constant... It's just, like, three beeps, and then a pause, and then three beeps, and then a pause. So the key is, we have to figure out what said beep code actually means for this computer because each uh, computer, and that's what I love about different vendors, is they all have their different beep codes so that especially for blind you know, technicians like me, it's easy to tell what something means because if we know what the beep code means, then we can more easily diagnose the issue, which this computer has a rather um, significant amount of issues, but I'm starting to wonder if they're actually related to one single thing. The keyboard doesn't work at all. The mouse pad doesn't work at all. The screen works intermittently, which makes me think that it is not an inverter or a backlight issue. And as you can tell, oh, the speaker as well. But I mean, obviously the PC speaker works, otherwise it wouldn't be beeping. But the screen, and what's making me think, ooh, geez, there's a webcam in here. Wow. It's actually a pretty good computer. I know. It functions properly. Yeah. I was told by Megan, uh, who gave this to me, to begin with, uh, that the person that gave it to her thought it might have been a logic board issue. Yes, the logic board, um, hold on a sec, I'm trying to remember. Uh, hey, guys, can somebody remind me of something? This is like a really stupid question, but the logic board of a computer, that's not by any chance the motherboard, is it? It is not. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm not sure. But, wait, is it? Yep. It is. Okay, because, um, Mike, I'm not sure if you heard the beeping. You heard it, I would imagine. When you turn this thing on, it, it, nothing comes up on the screen. The display so that, that's does nothing. The mm -hmm. So the only way we have uh, to diagnose this computer I, I is the via the beep code, that. unless we try to like on, plug yeah, in all external parts, uh, like that NVIDIA. external keyboard, external mouse, okay, external yeah. monitor. So if we had an extra yeah. monitor, yeah, we could sure, try to figure out just four, what in blazes four, is going on with this computer. And we have to, to, make a, to figure out what's up with it. So I'm wondering if somebody doesn't by any chance have a monitor that they're using. There's one. Nope, there's one. Shoot. Uh, are there any more in there? Storage one. Oh, yeah, there's always one. Diagnostics one. In the back office? Network three, audio one. There's always the one right if you're not, there. If you're not doing anything, do you think you can see if you can grab a monitor and mouse and keyboard from there? Because I'm wondering, like, what's actually... I know. I know this, and that's why I'm wondering, because, but no, if, if you look at this computer, it looks, it looks, you know, remarkable, it looks, uh, you know, it looks, it looks clean, it looks, you know, you, you wouldn't be able to tell visually, it's not showing its age at all, so let's see, if you, if you flip it over, you'll notice there's, there's no issue, you know, like, there's no issues or anything, it's just the person that handed in this computer mm -hmm. said that there was a surge, like a power surge. Oh, jeez. 
So does it ever boot up to Windows? Yeah, actually, I don't understand what this beeping thing is all about because it used to I don't work. know either. It used to work perfectly well otherwise, aside from like the screen speaker and keyboard issue. But it's gotta mean something. Whoa, stop! What the hell? Um, what the freaking hell? That looks really weird. What? Oh my god, when you look at this in the camera, it looks like a- Looks like you got a freaking eye staring at you, it's the weirdest freaking thing. So, I'm hoping that, uh, Mike Coughlin, uh, comes back with a- Well, the only thing is, we have no freaking room to put any- I know! And that's the thing. I can always, uh, move the computer, I can always take it. Just hold it. Uh, so, That'll work. Well, you know what? Hold on. Let's ask Adam. Let's ask Adam for any advice. Maybe, maybe he has some advice. He's pretty good. Well, when he's done the um, and the thing stuck, the charger was stuck under, was stuck under its own power cord. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop the tape for now because we have to do some. Uh, investigation and figure out exactly what the heck's up with this. So this is a rather interesting case of a Dell Inspiron M5030 from 2009. We've got a Windows 7 uh, logon screen on the... Uh, is it still on the logon? Actually, yes, it is. You know what? It is. Yep. Connections. So we have a Windows 7 logon screen for the Inspiron M5030. We finally plugged in an external display, and remarkably, it actually stopped beeping on us. So I'm wondering if that obnoxiously loud beep that you heard was. Oh, there we go. Now it appears it's logged into something. So I'm wondering if that obnoxiously loud beep we heard was actually uh, yelling about the display. Which I find remarkable because uh, you wouldn't typically. I did not know that Dell had beep codes for uh, lack of um, lack of video, but apparently they do. So we've got uh, Windows Seven. Uh, what Windows Seven version? Of Windows Seven is this? Uh, I forget. Uh, I would say probably. Professional. Yeah, professional. Yeah, so Windows Seven professional 64-bit. So here, so that so that's where we are. Excellent.